So remember last time we did go ahead and put this rear quarter on. We still got more work to do, but we got to go ahead and focus our energy on the inside of the cab. We do got a lot of sheet metal and other crap we got to clean out of here. Go ahead and hit us with a like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. Hit that notification bell or you will never ever get updates when we upload new material. Basically what I noticed is I thought I was almost done and I was not. Realized I got more rust back here in this corner. Didn't realize it at first, but we got to go ahead and get that taken care of. So today we're going to go ahead and tackle that. I actually need to finish welding out this corner. There is a little bit more work to do. As you can see, the welds up here in the corner, they are subpar at best. I need to turn up the heat on the welder and go ahead and get those burned back in. But for now, we're going to focus on this rust right here. We got to get this knocked out.
Okay, so went ahead and got some of that rust converter spray all over this stuff here. We also got some seam sealer along this edge that is open to the world. Also got seam sealer along this uh, this right here. Uh, what do you call that? The mate for the floor to the door sill. <laughs> Whatever you call it. So I did that on both sides. Got a little bit up in there. You can see that line right there. Jeez, so dark in here. As you can see that line right there. Uh, trying to seal this thing up. I ended up getting this Evercoat FiberTech. This is some really expensive stuff. This is not a big can. It's, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a half gallon even. What does it say? Uh, four pounds. Well, okay. But anyways, look how much it was. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff's uh, kind of expensive. So, all the research that I've done has shown that that is what's supposed to be used on welded seams, okay? So I gotta use it here. Now I do need to put down some epoxy primer first, let that dry, and then sand it, put down the filler. Um, like I said, I'm still new to all this. I have a ton to learn in the, in the aspect of painting and bodywork and stuff like that, but we also, but we also got the bedside here. As you can see, we got a little surface rust starting to take effect. I'll have to take a wire wheel to that and get all that out of there and then hit that with some epoxy primer and then hit that with the fiber reinforced filler that I got as well. Um, this corner turned out really well, man. Like it, it turned out really, really nice. For my, for my very first welded panel on the body of a car or a vehicle period, uh, you know, they say it's not polite to toot your own horn, but, uh, hmm. Toot toot mofos. Ended up getting all this sanded. Uh, some of this will get some different treatment, but um, maybe some of this rust reformer. Uh, but anyways, so sanded all this down, put a line of seam sealer on that. Um, what else? Got this sanded all down and also cleaned. What I'm using to clean it is I have some prep all and I also am just using this. 70% alcohol. You can buy this on Amazon. Uh, if you guys want, I'll put a link down below for what I bought. But this is the uh, more powerful stuff. And if you have any cuts, it will find it, believe it or not. So I took that, some clean towels, and wiped all this down after I got done sanding it. Now I'm going to get ready to hit it with this 2K epoxy primer. This is the two part. So if you guys don't know how this works, you can see right here, you shake that and then you pull the red top off, right? And then you stab it into the bottom. And what that does is it, it's actually two parts in here. It literally mixes them together. So literally, if you buy the two parts that you mix into an actual spray gun, this is the exact same thing. It's just in a can. Now, the thing is, is whenever you use this, allegedly, I need to read this, but from what I read online, it is only good for up to four days or 96 hours after mixing it. So that's why I'm going to be covering uh, bigger areas with it and stuff like that. And I have a bunch of air, uh, a bunch of different spots to cover with it. I'm also going to go uh, spray a few spots on the 240. Uh, just get as much as we can out of that life of that can. Uh, and here we go.